Welcome to Agenda Edina, a program summarizing the actions taken at City Hall that affect you most. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. A new playground is coming to the Prospect Knowles neighborhood. The City Council recently approved the replacement of equipment at Lewis Park, a 21-acre park that also features tennis courts, soccer fields, and ice skating in the winter. The playground will include zip lines, swings, slides, and climbing features, elements that topped the list in two public online surveys. There will be equipment for children ages 2 to 5 and 5 to 12. As part of the project, the pea gravel in the playground container will be replaced with ADA-accessible engineered wood chips like those at Arden Park. We are very excited about the Lewis Park Playground Replacement Project. It's been a long time coming. We conducted online surveys with the neighborhood. We even involved the local school to get children to respond to their input about what their desired amenities are. Things like zip lines, swings, additional playground equipment for two to five and five to 12 year olds. The company Minnesota Playground was awarded the $150 contract for the project and is expected to complete the work this summer. The City of Edina is offering residents free tree seedlings and compost this month. Among the goals in Edina's new Climate Action Plan is to increase the city's tree canopy coverage to nearly 40% by 2030. Residents can select one of 11 types of young trees to plant for free on their property. Residents must sign up online for their preferred tree type and will be able to pick it up May 9 through 13. To nurture it, the tree will come with a bag of compost created from the city's curbside organics program and a guide to tree care. All of these seedlings, um, you know, have been uh, adapted to, to grow here in, in, in our climate, even with climate change. Um, they should be able to handle the change in temperature that will be um, uh, arriving here over the next, you know, 100 years. Research shows that the benefits of a healthy tree canopy are highly localized. Where a tree is planted matters. Those living or spending time near healthy trees enjoy better air quality, reduced exposure to flood risk, lower noise pollution, and better mental health outcomes thanks to proximity to nature. Trees also increase property value. This month, the city will also give residents free compost for their other lawn and garden needs. The compost is the product of thousands of pounds of food waste that would have otherwise gone into the landfill. Residents can get the compost at weekend pickup events at the Braemar Golf Dome parking lot. Residents should be prepared to show ID when driving up and are responsible for loading and transporting the bags of compost themselves. Each bag weighs approximately 40 pounds. Edina residents have recycled millions of pounds of food waste from their curbs. We are bringing that food waste back in the form of compost for people's gardens, for their lawns, for our tree planting program, which we're going to be doing. All of these actions help meet our climate action goals to combat climate change. Those attending last month's Youth Climate Summit at Edina High School were welcomed with climate-themed poetry chalked onto the sidewalk. It was a preview of what will be sandblasted into sidewalks near and in several city parks this summer. Edina TV shows us more about this youth-led initiative. We got here at 7.30 this morning. These words, drawn and blended into the sidewalk next to Edina High School, were written by students working to bring awareness to climate change. Sometimes I'll match the color to the word. Words that are physically and poetically rich in color. You were born, you learned to grow, and you learned to love in this world. Now it's time to save it. The Edina Arts and Culture Commission wanted to bring awareness to climate change, so it partnered with the Edina High School Environmental Club Project Earth to bring climate-themed poetry to city parks. They selected parks, and then we have provided the funds and the opportunity to get these things etched into eight to ten of our most popular parks. I once met a broken sunset, ludicrously beautiful yet alone. These chalk versions are just a preview. I once met a calm rain listening to its secrets pour on me. 
This is all driven by the students. Uh, we are just thrilled at the city to be able to highlight and put an emphasis on these important messages. The Climate Poetry in the Parks program was announced at the Youth Climate Summit at Edina High School in April. The annual climate-focused panel discussions. Sustainability, psychology. And workshops. Tell your story. Actively engage students like Lindsay Buckentine in climate efforts. I just wanted to do something um, to get more talk in the city because I know we just got like a seven-year climate action plan passed, but there's always more that you can do, so I just volunteer to do what I can to make a difference. Student members of Project Earth selected eight poems out of 25 submissions. Which is quite nerve-wracking and exciting. <laughs> Residents and visitors to Edina's parks will begin seeing the poems etched into sidewalks as early as May. Well, I just hope they can like take into account how much beauty Earth really holds. It's a local effort to show the actions of individuals do make a difference. I kind of wanted people to realize that change needs to be now versus, oh, I'll do it 20 years later. I'm Dan Carpenter for Adina TV. The work to sandblast the climate poetry near and in city parks will begin as soon as weather allows and will continue throughout the summer. To learn more about the Arts and Culture Commission, visit edinamn.gov. Thank you for watching this episode of Agenda Edina. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. <music>